Hi, this is Jim Mann with the Homestyle Southern Cooking. Thanks for letting me come back in and join you today. I'm going to show you how a quick way to make an apple cranberry cobbler. And this is such a simple cobbler that you can make so quick, especially with the holidays coming up, you need things that you can do in a hurry. So this is something that you can do in really speedy. What I did is I took a stick of butter and my oven is preheating. And while my oven is preheating, I put that stick of butter right in my, right in my pan. And we'll let that continue preheating, okay? And it's hot, as you can see. I got three cans of apple pie filling. And we'll put those right here, right here in my, my plate. That's one. Make sure we get all those delicious apples out of there. There's one. There's two. And I always keep cans of apples and strawberries and things close by, especially during the holidays, because there's so many things you can make with them that you can make in a hurry. And sometimes in the holiday, <laughs> You know, you need to have things ready that you can make in a hurry. Okay, I've got my apples in there. I'm going to set my cans out of the way. I'm going to spread those around just a little tiny bit. And then I've got, I went and got a small bag of cranberries, okay? And I guess in this bag, I didn't measure them, but I guess it's about a cup, maybe a cup and a half. I'm not going to use the whole bag. So let's say that I put a half a cup in. Put a half a cup of cranberries and I'm going to sort of mash those into my apples a little bit. So I want to make sure I get some everywhere all over here. I want to evenly distribute it among, amongst my apples here. Okay. Now, I've told you before I like to put sea salt and things. I'm getting ahead of myself here. I'm going to set this aside just for a second, push it aside up here, and like I said, it's really hot. Or maybe I'll leave it there. In a bowl here, I've got, I've gone ahead and mixed two cups of, of self-rising flour, two cups of sugar, and two cups of milk. So that's two, two, two. It's two cups of self-rising flour, two cups of sugar, and two cups of milk. I've always told you that I think that uh, salt, especially sea salt, gives everything a little lift. And so I'm going to put like a half, a slight half a teaspoon of sea salt in there. Now, this is an option that I'm going to use that you, you don't have to. If you like cinnamon, this would be good to put a little bit of cinnamon on top. I don't like a lot of cinnamon, but just put a little bit of cinnamon just sprinkle a little bit on the top like that. Like I said, I don't like a lot, but just a little bit adds a little bit extra flavor to it. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my cake mix and I'm going to pour it right on top here. This is my batter mix, I guess. Okay. And I probably could have used a little bit bigger pan, but this will be fine. So I'm going to put this in the oven for 50 minutes at 350 degrees, and then I'll come back to you. Our cranberry and apple cobbler is out of the oven. That's a very simple recipe to make. You can see that we got the little cranberries poking through. So it's still a little warm, but I thought I want to share it with you. So I'm going to take some out. Put in my bowl right there. Get some of the wonderful cranberries. Look at that. And then what I'm going to do, take a little bit of whipped cream and put it on top of it. Okay, now the true test. Get a little whipped cream, get a little bit of the apples, and get a little bit of the cranberries. It's still warm. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? No, oh my goodness, it is good. 
Need something quick and simple to fix? This cranberry apple cobbler is it. Thank you so much for letting me come back into your home today and spending time with you. I will bring you, bring you things daily. The holidays are coming up so quick, so I'm thinking about you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Whatever you're doing, know, know that I am thinking about you. This is Jim in Mexico sending you a big hug and saying God bless.